It's been a great team from the get-go. I love playing football. That's why I'm here. This team is a complete team. Crush gone 8 0 and won to get to the championship. We're in the Super Bowl. Zoe, he's a really good kid. My dad, he's been fighting in Iraq for over a year. He knew that Zoe's dad was over there. He's missed oh, about five of my birthdays. He went through a lot this year. His helicopter was shot down and my dad, it hurt him pretty bad. Zoe uh, stepped out for a while. You know, football wasn't important so much and... You know, the kid uh, had a rough go. He didn't feel like playing. <laughs> and then when he figured out everything was okay and everything, how's the back? How's the back? And he talked to dad and dad told him that he, he should be playing football. Good job, guys. Nice job. Hey! The team rallied around, he got back in and... We just love him to death. <laughs> He's my son, and I just, I had to be here for this game. I had to be able to hug him again. Oh, Mr. We all worked together to get him home for this game, because that was almost taken away from him. You ready to play? Okay. All right. See, see you, Dad. Boy. Welcome home. All right. A whole lot easier to be in Iraq knowing that you guys are taking care of him. That this year's winner is Zoe Yor. Winning the director's award, it goes to the kid that best exemplifies sportsmanship, courage, and attitude. Inspiration to everyone. That's Zoe, to a T. It could not go to a better kid. Woo! Couldn't happen to a better kid or a better fan. They're all there for each other all the time. Because soldiers are soldiers, you know. We go out and do what we're supposed to do. It. We dedicated the season to him and his family. We wanted to welcome home the hero. It's awesome for Zoe. It's awesome for a team to have this kind of a conclusion. Everything's better right. now that I'm here. Pass! Pass! It feels really good that my dad's here right now. I needed to be here. They needed me to be here. And it just makes the coming home thing that much better. Surgery was to close a colostomy. Meet pediatric surgeon Michael Allshaus. She looks very good. He works at the Children's Hospital and has helped many children she's, like she's Addison here, who was born prematurely. The reason we're profiling Dr. Allshaus is Father's Day. That's Sarah, Victoria, no. and Charlie, <gasps> Ryan. Oh, God. It's his unique role as a father. Because my children have been great teachers to me. That makes him a good doctor. Sarah! Oh. Whoa! You see, Dr. Allshaus and his wife have five children. Four are adopted and three have Down syndrome. Charlie, their biological son, Ryan and Sarah. We love children and uh, we wanted to have a family. And at the time, Denise and I had been married 13 years and she hadn't uh, become pregnant. And so they adopted. But when Charlie here came along, he was born with Downs. She got pregnant for the first time and when we found out he had Down syndrome, like I said, it, it changed our lives. Loving, living with a child with Downs gave them an idea. If we had another baby like that, that he and Charlie could be buddies and they could rely on each other and maybe they could exist together. We already know how to help kids like this. Okay. And so the Alls houses adopted Ryan and Sarah. Why adopt children with such challenges? They say because they can and have been blessed with unique gift to love and help other children with Downs. Denise and I both believe that God gives you the kind of things that you can deal with and you have to find a way to deal with those. You want to put it on me? And we've taken that on as a special uh, part of our lives. Is my head too big? Dr. Allshaus loves his children and they love him dearly too. For Father's Day, each of them made him a colorful tie. Did you make this tie? So you see, for Dr. Allshaus, his heart belongs with his family. Cross double knuckles. Coach, the tie. No matter the challenge. And that is what makes him a good doctor. She's a good girl. His goal, to treat his patients like they're his own children. She's going to go to the operating room tomorrow and get her intestinal problem fixed. For Addison's dad, a new father today, 
he appreciates that kind of devotion. It's overwhelming right now because I wasn't expecting to be a father on Father's Day. Thank you for what you do for us. It's my pleasure. Take joy in the time that you have together. It means a lot now that I have Addison, so I'm very happy. Have a happy Father's Day. On this bright May morning in Fountain, Colorado. I think this is a special high school. Fort Carson High's 2007 class. We made an achievement in our life. What's a big step? Walks tall and proud towards tomorrow. But today, as many parents celebrate their kids. I, I feel sad. Jimmy Isaac. I wish he was here with me though. Is thinking of his father. He's not right. Nice. At this time, we pay tribute Forward, march. to those left. away from home serving left. our country. Right. Left. Left. Right. Jessica Bartlett. Staff Sergeant Cynthia Bartlett. She's in Afghanistan. She misses her mother. <laughs> it's really hard for not me. Order. Oh. And in this crowd. Ready, foot. Almost 50% of our kids have a parent that's in the military. They are not alone. We're making sacrifices, and they're thinking about their mom or their dads. And every day we read in the paper, somebody's blown up, somebody's killed. I just have to, like, smile and get over it because she can't be here. Adriana, Sarah, Lauren. It's a milestone in their son or daughter's life, and they're not here. Despite that divide, Here's the S cable. Parents overseas now can plug in. Upload this file. We actually recorded it. Mic cables. Digitized it. Put it on the internet. So those parents can watch it almost as if it was live. They will be able to see the child graduate. Wonderful job. I just looked at it and I thought of my mom watching. She can actually watch it and see it like she was there and she didn't miss it at all. It means everything to me because she can't be here. After the tassels have been turned. I wish you all the best of luck. The diplomas handed out. Congratulations again, seniors class of 2007. <laughs> and the emotions released. Hello? There comes a phone call for one graduate. <laughs> Not even my graduation. Whose emotions, even on this proud day. It's like I get to talk to you are more bitter than sweet. I wish you could have been here. With photojournalist. Love you too. Goodbye. I'm Eli Stokels. News 2.